How about if we just manually start it and take off? I don't want no, I don't want no beeping going on. You know how much I like that. Okay, so we got some video recording. Battery's looking good. Just gonna try to get some decent video. I mean, it looks decent on the screen. You know, I can't account what it's gonna look like. Let's get a look at the lake. Hold on on the gimbal there. Now you can do that with this button or with the third that little thing on the screen that you can tip it down on with that too. Somebody left their boats here chained up with it. Didn't feel like, uh, see if I can get a shot of that. Wait a minute. Just use the buttons. <laughs> Guys, it's easier. That, that little thing on the screen there, that thing's a little flaky. You know, sometimes it wants to go up when you go down. Sometimes it goes down when you go up. Anyway, somebody left their boats there. Get some close up here of the water and the grass to see how clear the video will get. See if we can see any reflection or anything in the water. Those uh, shots are really good for showing clarity. Breeze is kind of taking the exo around here. Yeah, it seems, uh... Seems pretty nice. The, the video looks fairly clear. Um... I mean, this is a toy. I'm not gonna push my luck over this lake with a toy, okay? So, I'm not going there, so. 
but it does seem to uh it does seem to fly very nice and now the video on this thing it records in five minute segments so on the SD card just to let you know that it re resets itself after five minutes I mean, it's not bad for a beginner type thing, I guess. It's, you know, I mean, it's not a DJI product or anything like that, but for somebody who didn't have anything, this thing would be, this thing would be pretty cool. I mean, I'm not getting into all the, the, the gesture, you know, all that's, I don't care about all that crap, you know, it's all just gimmicky crap. Does the video look decent and does it fly good for somebody that's getting into it? And how reliable is it? It, se it seems pretty stable, pretty reliable. You know, it does tend have a tendency to dip down into the, drop down to the ground when it's going into corners and stuff like that. So, I mean, that seems okay. The gimbal's a little crooked. The horizon is a little off there. But, I mean, I don't know why it's doing that, but yeah, who knows? Just seems a little cockeyed to me. Maybe there's a calibration button in the setting somewhere. Yeah, the video looks okay on the phone. Now, what it's going to look like on the SD card, you know, that's another ball game. Who knows, right? Okay, so it only has the two rates. See, as I as I was going there, it, it starts dipping down. You saw that. So you just gotta you just gotta pay attention what you're doing. That's all. The colors are a little off because that's really not the color of my car. Okay. <laughs> The saturation seems to be a little bit blowed up. Just a little hint off, that's all. Nothing that big, nothing that big of a deal. All right, there you go, guys. Another flight with the XO in the books. Let me stop the video. Yeah, it's okay, I guess. You know, it was a couple hundred bucks. At least it's got the brushless motor, so it's gonna last for a long time. It's not gonna be something that's gonna crap out after 20 flights. You know, it's probably gonna hold up and be kind of durable for a while, so at least you'll be able to fly it for a while. So, yeah, it's okay, I guess. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later, man. Have a nice day.